Hi there. My name is Keith Folk, and I'm a professor here at the University of Manitoba in the Department of Medical Microbiology. Welcome to our webpage, and um, I'm glad you've visited us. And come on, I'll give you a tour. Hey, welcome to the Viral Immunology Lab. The theme of the lab is studying the exceptions to the rules. So what do I mean by that? So if you think of people that are exposed to HIV, you would think that if they're exposed enough times that eventually they're going to become infected. However, we study a group of commercial sex workers in Nairobi, Kenya, who have been exposed for years and even decades, and still they're not infected with HIV. So that's part of what we want to study. So what did we learn by studying these women who are resistant to HIV infection? Well, um, we've determined that these women have a very unique immune response. And what's unique about them is that the cells of their immune response, of, of the immune system, are calm and cool and not activated. The reason this is important is because HIV infects and replicates more effectively in a cell that's turned on or activated. So the fact that at the genital tract, these women have cells that are not activated, that are very calm and quiet, means that when HIV comes in and tries to infect that individual, there's no cells that are suitable targets for HIV infection. And what we want to do is convert that into uh, a therapy. If we can find a way to convert uh, the, the cells of the immune response in other women to this quiet resting state, then we can hopefully protect uh, other women. And that's what we want to do um, in Kenya. We want to develop tools for preventing HIV infection. And that's what my colleague, Dr. Julie Lejoie, who's working in the lab, she's working on uh, how to induce immune quiescence. And one of my graduate students, Andrew Stocker, he's studying another aspect of the immune response and that's uh, a particular protein called LAG3 and how it's regulated and how it may be uh, effective or defective in HIV infection.